everyone and welcome back. I am Quietly Gaming and we are playing through Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. We're actually getting really freaking close to the end. So A Realm Reborn goes until level 50 and we're on level 37. We're starting to wrap up all of the good stuff. So um, we're going to go ahead and continue onward. We're here in Corthus and we're trying to help out with some of the uh the various things that are going on here in the Corthus um Corthus I guess they wouldn't would they be Highlands it might be Highlands so let's go ahead and get going I had another personal request to make of you quietly it concerns Lord Francel of whom much has been whispered in recent days I have received a report that he and three knights were seen headed north towards the Steel Vigil. The outpost was long ago overrun by Dravanian Horde, so I am not certain that he what his intention tends to accomplish with such a small force. Interesting. Whatever his motives, I fear for his safety, pray. Uh, pray. Journey to the Steel Visual and see if Lord Farcell's party requires assistance. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> I like how, I like how, um, they're like, this small party of people can't do anything. Let's send one more. Surely that will be enough. Um, obviously. Unfit knight, unfit knight. Lord of Farcell. Hello, sir. Who goes there? Quietly. No, stay back. The fiend is still here. He is no more. The fiend has been slewn. The loans be praised, you did it. But what of the others, the three knights who accompanied me? Where are they? Well, we know where two are. Hi. I actually like the crest of the flower. Oh, oops, I didn't read it. I heard the beast cries from over yonder. Then Lord Farcell is safe. Bless you, miss. Bless you. Hi. Curse those fiends. It is as though they knew we were coming. Did they know you were coming? Confound it all. How are we to redeem house... Hilnart, if we cannot even slay a single Avis. Sigh. We are fortunate you came along when you did, miss. House Hil Hilnart will remember your kindness. Better You better remember my kindness. I just slew a dragon for you. It was a foolish thing to do. I know, but I had hoped we might demonstrate our devotion by slaying a number of Scalekin. Moreover, it was House Hailnard that yielded the Steel Vigil to the Horde many years ago. One might say that our defeat here heralded the slow decline of our house's once great name. We have been brought down low by these despicable accusations of heresy. Despite my best efforts, I have done naught to improve the situation. The day of my trial approaches. Soon I must accept the judgment of the Inquisitors, whatever it may be. But even should my uh, protestations fall on uh, pro protestations fall on deaf ears, I will claim my innocence to my last breath, to my dying breath. Oh, well, he's certainly determined. Gotta, you gotta, you know, give him props for that. Yes. 
I think this area and like Ishgard are probably my favorite areas in the game that I've seen so far. Um, I really liked Ishgard, but I really liked like the medieval fantasy type stuff. So what did you find at the Steel Vigil? No, oh, yes, a reckless plan, but at least it did not cost him and his knights, th knights their lives. I have news for you as well. A witness to the final flight of the Enterprise has been found. Alas, there is a complication. It has become common knowledge that you paid a visit to Lord Fer uh, Francel at Skyfire Locks not long ago. Upon hearing this, the witness became understandably recedent uh, to your uh, acquaintance. For fear of being seen in the company of a woman who might later be declared a heretic. I not uh, a, re a not unreasonable fear. Even the zeal with which Inquisitor Gul uh, Gul Aim God, these names just throw me for a loop has conducted his investigation. In any case, if we wish to obtain his testimony, we must first clear Lord Francel's name, and by association, yours. Great. So we done goofed. Oh, that's not what I want. We done goofed. As I see it, the key to proving Lord Francel's innocence is by discrediting the evidence against him. I speak of the dracon, uh, draconian rosary found in the chest you yourself recovered. If you would, please tell me of the incident in question. Well, there was an attack and then they opened the chest and there was a thing in there. So it was found in a locked chest labeled as the property of Lord Francel. If the rosary was not his, then someone else with access must have planted it. Here is what you must do. Return to Skyfire Locks and speak with Rick Rickman. He works closely with the porters who ferry goods across Corthus, so he may have some inkling of who could be responsible. Okay, it sounds easy enough. We talk to a dude. He tells us who put the stuff, who planted the goods. And then we move on. Here we go. Rickman. Hello, I like your hat. Huh? Someone's tampering with shipments. Or he strikes me how if all them rosaries found in our people's possessions were planted. Hey now, don't you give me that look, lass. I'm a house Hailnart man through and through. This here heresy nonsense is bad for me and my family too. I ain't saying the porters what we're bringing the shipments did did it though. I know most of them what work the trade routes and I've never had cause to question their faith. But if it wasn't them neither, then your guess is as good as mine. After all, most, most every shipment is thoroughly inspected before it. Huh? Could it have been the fellas with uh, what were responsible for the inspections? Ishgardian knights and inquisitors, the lot of them, as if they'd ever turned their cloaks. Reckon that means the porters are your most likely suspects. I hate to think it, but maybe you should question them. There's a crew coming in to Camp Dragonhead with from Whitebrim Front today. You might consider having a word with them. Okay. That's easy enough. Lots of running back and forth, but we, we deal with it. We can do it. It's not the worst thing in the world to have to run back and forth. Take this moment of teleportation to sip my tea. Apathetic Porter. Hi. I beg your pardon? You suspect that we porters have been planting draconian rosaries in House Hellnard's shipments? What nerve! If you truly believe such nonsense, search our parcels and see what you find. Okay.
I found I found Dracoon and Rosaries. Are you finished? If so, I would appreciate an apology. Well, but but that's impossible. Once the knights, once the knight at White Room Front concluded her inspection, I loaded the parcels into the wagon myself. And if I had been the culprit, I would have never allowed you to search my shipments. Say what you will to Lord Pochafont, I will not be held accountable for this. I mean, he's got a point that he would be dumb to let me search the parcels, but at the same time, maybe he did that so that he looks innocent. Did something happen outside? I thought I heard shouting, but, ah, uh, but more importantly, what did Rickman have to say? More draconian rosaries in every single parcel found in Skyfire locks? That beggar's belief. Even the Inquisitor must acknowledge that this is no more than a crass attempt to sully Lord Nail, uh, Hailnart's reputation, but is responsible for overplaying his hand. And praise alone that he did, Lord Farcell's trial is upon us, and we must act now if we are to clear his name. Yeah. We've solved the problem. From the very first, I knew I, it could not be that so many members of House Hailnard were heretics. At last, we can give the lie to these. Uh, po uh, we can give the lie of to these poisonous allegations. That sentence doesn't sit right with me, but put an end to this travesty. I will need to prepare a formal statement regarding these developments for the Holy See. In the meantime, I would have you bear my word to Inquisitor Brid uh, Briggy. Tell her that House Four Temps asks, nay, demands that Lord Farcell's trial is postponed until a full investigation can be concluded. We can do that. Hello, Inquisitor. Where are you? There you are. Hi. You look like a sophisticated woman. You've got a nice headband on. What is it, my child? Hmm? Lord Hodgefon would be... Would have the Inquisitors do what? But that is not possible. Inquisitor Gloim presides over Lord Falso's trial at Witch Drop even as we speak. Fear not. If Lord Farcell is indeed innocent, he shall walk in Halone's halls with the fallen heroes of Ishgard. They have taken Lord Farcell to Witch Shop. This is madness. The Inquisitor does not have sufficient grounds to subject him to a manner of trial. I will not stand idly by and allow an innocent man to die quietly. Die. Quietly, I would dispatch you and one of my knights to Witch Shop to forestall the proceedings until such time as I am able to, to join you and petition Inquisitor Golemane in person. I will endeavor not to keep you waiting too long. Do whatever you must to keep Lord Farcell alive. Wait, so they're just like taking him out back and like. Yo, this is gruesome. They're literally like taking him out back and being like, we're gonna hold a trial in the cold out here. And by trial, I mean I'm gonna kick your ass. We're gonna. Hi. Hail quietly. As you can see, Lord Farcell yet lives. We must try to reason with the Inquisitor. But if his guards judge us a threat, we must also be prepared to defend ourselves. I'm ready. Are you ready? That's the real question. I'm ready. Uh, Josen Ch uh, Charlie Mend, Farcel de Hailnard, you stand uh, accused of heresy against the Holy See of Ishgard. Is there aught you wish to say in your defense? Hear me, brothers. These charges are false. The men and women in my line have never, uh, have ever opposed the Dravonians, and I am no different. Since the very birth of our nation, we have gladly shed blood in service of the Holy See. Condemn me, and you will strike a blow to the enemy's 
uh, you will strike a blow for the enemies of Ishgard. It is for Halone to judge if you speak the truth. Prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men. Leap from the cliff and entrust your fate to the fury. What the fuck? Excuse my language, but huh? The righteous shall take their place in Halone's halls, while the wicked shall reveal their dra uh, draken forms and be put to the sword. What the heck? What kind of trial is this? They're sh they're they're yeeting him off of a cliff. That you know what this is? This is like the witch trials. You know, in the witch trials, they would like t tie up girls' arms. This is I don't know why I laughed there. This is actually really horrible. They would like tie up girls' arms and they would like throw them into lakes. And if they sunk, it means that they weren't a witch because they died. And if they lived. It means that they were a witch. If they like floated, it means they were a witch. And so they would be burned at the stake. So there was like really no way to actually win in that situation. And this is kind of like the same thing. It's like if you if, if you don't turn into a dragon, then clearly you were innocent and you'll be rewarded with like a good heavenly death. But if you turn into a dragon, we're going to kill you anyway. So either way, he dies. It's it's like absolute lunacy, but it's it's cool. It's right. It's cool. In the name of House Four Temps, I beseech you, stay your hand. Inquisitor, we have come on behalf of Lord Hotchafon. My lord has uncovered evidence which suggests that the charges against Lord Farcell are without merit. We humbly request that these proceedings be suspended until such time as a full re-examination re of the facts have been concluded. Lord Hotchafont has allowed his personal relationship with the accused to cloud his judgment. That he should harbor private doubts, I might have allowed, but that he had would dare infer in legal proceedings sanctioned by the Holy See, I cannot. To defy the will of the Inquisitor is to commit heresy, a crime of which there is but one punishment. Really? We must, we must hold them until Lord Hotchafon arrives quietly. And remember, no harm can come to the Inquisitor. Are you sure? Are you sure? Lord Hotchifont is come. In the name of South Four Thames, I demand you lay down your arms. I really hate to break it to you, dude, but I don't think they're listening. Oh, he's invulnerable, okay.
Can I get this guy? Out? No. This will not be forgiven. Bum bum bum. Look at the wood. The, the dragon ran away. It is not our intention to defy the will of the Archbishop, but this trial, like many others, I fear, has been orchestrated by enemies of House Hale Nart. We have you; they have used you and your fellows to do, dis, to sow discord, Inquisitor, to set brother against brother, and we may tear ourselves apart. That we may tear ourselves apart. The fevered imaginings of a desperate man. What proof have you of this? By the fury, a draconian rosary. Then the knight who refused to yield. It was he who summoned the wyvern. A heretic in the ranks of the temple knights. This is grave implica implications. Your claims would appear to have merit, Lord Hotchafont. I shall withdraw my charges against Lord Farcell pending further investigation. I trust you have not lost sight of what first brought you to Corthus quietly. Pray, locate your errant ship and use it. Oh? Lord Hotchafont. I have not the words to express my gratitude, but why would you risk your reputation to save mine? Because I know you, boy. You are loyal. You are too loyal to betray Ishgard and too devote to question your sentence. Had we been any slower, you'd have jumped off of your own free will. I, I would have done whatever it takes to redeem House Hailmart. Praise alone, it did not come to that, but it profits us little to dwell on what might have been. Let us quit this place quietly. Pray, visit me in Camp Dragonhead once you have recuperated. Yes, sir. Herochifont. A lot of people like Herochifont. A lot of people like him. I like him. We haven't seen his development yet, but he's a cool guy. You look well quietly. May I say with a pleasure it was a fight... Uh, may I say what a pleasure it was to fight alongside such a fearless and skilled warrior. <laughs> oh, thank you. You. <laughs> Shucks. Were it not for you, Lord Farcell would surely have died defending the honor of his house, and I might well have perished at the hands of the of a heretic and his wyvern. House Fortemps and House Hailnart shall never forget your service. Now, let us return to the matter of your missing enterprise. Nice. So we actually get a, a final flight of the enterprise. Ooh. 38. We have 10 le 12 levels left. The man with knowledge of the Enterprise awaits you outside. I pray his information proves useful to you. Hi. How quickly the commoner's opinions change. They say Lord Farcell is innocent now. And just a few days prior. Anyways... Your inquiries as to the whereabouts of an airship last seen in Corthus several days before the Calamity, yes? Well, it so happens that I, that I was monitoring the night sky in the observatorium during that period. I recall that a small vessel came from the direction of Gridania and landed near the stone vigil in the far northwest. The garrison almost certainly seized the vessel and brought it within their walls. If so, then you would need an army of knights to have any hope of, of securing it. 
though Lord Hotchafont is, for all indications, quite fond of you, so mayhaps you can lend he can lend you a few. In any case, I have done my part. I shall pray for your success, friend. Rachafont, friend, I hear that you uh you, you you like me. Can I have some soldiers to help me out? Oh, so you've at, la at last located the Enterprise. I believe congratulations are in order. True, it's been a bit. No vigil. Uh, perhaps I spoke too soon. The outpost has been held by the dragons for years, and all access is restricted by decree of House Durandare. I will write a letter to Lord Drillmond of Whiterim Front and request that he grant you permission to enter. That said, I fear my influence alone will not suffice, so I suggest that you, you request Lord Francel to do the same. Now that your business in Cram Dragonhead is concluded, I suspect we may not meet again for some time. I wish you well in your journeys quietly. May Halone guide you. I'm, ac I'm actually, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. I'm, go I'm gonna miss you. I'll see you soon. And all of this, guys, please note, if you guys are watching this, um, all of this is going to be, like, super relevant when it comes to the, the first expansion, Heaven's Ward. So, um, keep an eye on that and, like, the characters and stuff like that. Uh, wonderful to see you again quietly. Is there, uh, if there is anything I can do to repay you, name it. So the airship you seek is likely inside the stone visual. It shames me to say that it is, that it too was once an outpost held by House Hilnart. In the chaos that followed the calamity, the Dravonian hordes caught us unawares. The fiends have held the outpost ever since. As we lack the strength of arms to retake the stone visual, House Durandare instead has been charged with the duty. Given that, I doubt that my words will carry much weight with Lord Drillmont. Nevertheless, I will write you your letter. Before we you depart, I would caution you. Um before you before you depart, a word of caution. The Cravens who attempted to destroy House Hailnart have yet to be unmasked. Though their plans were foiled, they doubtless still harbor great hatred towards us and towards you now as well. Okay, we have both letters. Man, I wish they put an Aether right here, but I guess it kind of makes sense because it's not meant to be like uh, a city or like a like a hugely so so this part of Corthus is part of Ishgard, but it's also it's like the outlying parts of Ishgard, right? So it's like there's a um there's um I think this is the bridge right here. This is the bridge right here that goes into Ishgard. There's there's like uh, like a huge cavern. So this is like the outer parts of Ishgard. Um, and so it's kind of like country, I guess you could say. So it would make sense that there's not a bunch of Aetherites. It's kind of like the the different areas of like the Twelves would. There's only like a Aetherite in those areas too. You desire an audience with Lord Drillmont, do you? I desire a night in a warm bed with my wife, but wishing won't make it so. You mean you never sleep with your wife? What do you have here? Letters from Lord Hotchafont and Francel, is it? A likely... Oh, you're serious. Mm-hmm. Oh, what to do, what to do. You just... You let me in. Your timing could not have been worse, Traveler. Lord Drillmont's attentions are focused solely on the stone vigil at present. In any case, it is my responsibility to escort visitors. Take your letters and show them to Sir Albados. Yes, Sir Albados is surely uh, can surely accommodate you. Seek her in the storeroom on the opposite side of the yard. All right. Look at Delphinon. Bruh. What are you doing here? 
you're like five but shouldn't you be at home or like at school plus you're in tights aren't you cold sir bernard Blay bade you speak with me did he i know not why he presumed i would be in a better position to help but i assure you that he is mistaken Sir Drillmont hasn't the time to spend speaking with a low rank tonight, such as I. However, he always has a moment to spare for head Churian, uh, Chur, 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 um, As, Asadine. Why not visit the infirmary upstairs and show your letters to him? God, I'm gonna be on a wild goose chase here now, huh? What reasons have you for barging into Mo? Oh, I see. Well, you are in luck. Lord Trillmont is just up these stairs. Letters or no, though, I would not expect much. House Durandair has a whole as a whole does not hold adventurers in high regard. You had best state your intentions quickly and succinctly. Show proper respect, and it shall be rewarded in kind. Okay. I. Sir Gox permitted your passage. Very well, speak. About these letters. Do you wish to brave the ruined outpost filled with scalekin to secure an airship that may or may not be there? Are you an avatar of the Fury herself? Oh, no. Oh, it's it! We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, Lord Drillmont. You know our name, and you know our deeds. We are come to Porthos to slay Garuda, Lady of the Vortex. To that end, we seek the Enterprise and the airship of Master Sid Non Garland, who stands before you now. Master Garland, you're alive. But that's impossible. Indeed it is, my lord. Do not be deceived by their honeyed words. These foreigners are not to be trusted. Seriously? At this critical moment in Ishgardian history, as House Durandares marshals its forces to retake the stone visual, you should appear at white, uh, white brim font, front with three mysterious strangers. Sid Garland, missing and presumed dead since before the Calamity, and two Scions of the Seventh Dawn, a defunct band of misfits, recently exterminated by the Empire. The lesser houses may have been duped by these grudos, gr uh, grandiose lies, but I shall hope that Lord Dur Durandane there would have great greater sense i know not why these three seek the stone visual but i know that you cannot permit them to pass thank you for your counsel inquisitor for the moment i nearly believed this murmurer's farce you three will not enter the outpost until we have reclaimed it and until you declare your true intentions as well you just want a freaking ship for real? It could be moons before House Durandere purges the dragons from the stone vigil. You cannot afford to wait that long. Sid, quietly, we must do whatever it takes to earn Lord Drillmont's trust. Understood? You're the last responsible for the commotion upstairs. I word travels fast in white brim font. I gather you still wish to change Lord Drillmont's mind. If there's one thing I learned about the man in my lifetime here, it's that he listens to and respects the opinions of those under his command. Went over the barracks and you and he's sure to take notice. How, you ask? That's easy. Serve the poor souls decent fare for a change. The last few uh, supply shipments contained no meat whatsoever, and the knights are rightfully beginning to complain. I'm thinking we should prepare them steaks using the mud puppy tail meat. 
It would be a quality meal, tis true, but it'd be damned sight near better than nothing. If you if you've a mind to lend a hand, why not await a lurking mud puppy in Dandefen Pass and take this bottle of vinegar? Locals say it weakens mud puppies to clogging their uh, minuscule glands, drying their skin. Um, hello? I feel like we didn't put the thing on it. Why do I feel like that didn't work properly? Am I, am I crazy? It didn't work, did it? No, I, I thought it was an idiotic idea. Oh dear, remind me to never wander near mud puppy spawn grounds without a bottle of vinegar. Any roads. This should only take a moment. I'll just need to do this and this and voila. I've never seen a man cook steak that fast, have you? These, uh, take these three and distribute them to the hungry knights there, here and above. I, I've got meat. You there, lass. Don't think I didn't see you and the cook conspiring together. Let me make myself perfectly clear. If you wish to buy my trust with a steak, it would be my pleasure to oblige you. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes. I feel invigorated, refreshed, as if I have the strength of ten men and their wits. Besides, I, I should have no trouble concocting a new reason to refrain from sentry duty. I like that guy. <laughs> Hi. You want at least receive a hearty meal before we march off to die in some godforsaken waste. Is that fresh cooked steak? Alone's blessing be upon you, my friend. Mud puppy meter, no, it is delicious food I had in a fortnight. It is the most delicious food. Ever must we refrain to maintain our skills at arms, yet never 
never are we to receive proper sustenance. We got a steak for you. You are a godsend, my friend. Too few appreciate the house Durandare must do. Uh, too few appreciate that house Durandare must do more than its fair share for the sake of Ishgard. It feels wonderful to see everyone in such high spirits. Amazing what good food can do for morale, eh? Ah, uh, but I forgot about the hard-working Turrigan in the infirmary. So, uh, so rarely do they take their meals in the, here in the hall. Mind taking the steak to Sinota. She's doubtless too preoccupied with the health of her patients that she neglects to attend to her own. Sure, we can do that. I think that's the one that's upstairs, right? Hello? I am looking for Lady. Lady Nurse. Nope. I beg your pardon, ma'am, but I'm busy attending to this man. I will be with you in a moment. Is that... Come to think of it, it has been quite a while since I last ate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a nibble. Oh my, this is fantastic! Thank you so much! I'll eat the rest right away. Okay. Determination, vitality, direct hit rate. Tenacity, vitality, skill speed. A hard uh, XP bonus. They both have XP bonus. I don't know which one's better. Um, I think we're going to go with direct hit rate. Plus, it never hurts to have more vitality. Might I have a word with you quietly? It concerns the clergyan. After speaking with them earlier, I learned that they lack sufficient alembics for their needs. You see, so, uh, you see, so I used some of their broken equipment to craft a more advanced alembic. Uh, both can, uh, so I, I used some of their broken equipment to craft a more accept, uh, advanced alembic. Both as a gesture of goodwill and as a means to help me recover my memories. Since working with my hands kindles familiar feelings. All I require to complete the device it are the cores of three ice sprites. Though commonly used to reduce the temperatures of uh, alchemic mixtures, there is a way to alter their properties so that they draw the cold within rather than radiate it without. It must sound ridiculous to you. Impossible, even. Yet somehow I know it will work. Okay. We get sprite cores for the Sidsta. I don't mind this story, but the fetch quests are a little much sometimes. Have you obtained the cores? If so, please show them to me. They look like little marbles. What an amazing device. This, but is it truly alembic, sir? I've never seen its like before. I too am unsure what to make of this machine. While, cert uh, while certainly impressive, I have no idea how to make use of it. Nevertheless, if it is effective as he claims, it will be a great boon to the infirmary. Think of the medicines we could create, the lives we could change. Even so, I wonder. Where the, the, the kindly stranger bearer gifts wondrous and strange, but his generosity comes at a cost. Their earnest efforts are but a means to an as yet unknown end. Moreover, you should be wary of associating with individuals who have interfered with the questioning of a suspected heretic. They did what? Bless you, Inquisitor. We're coming along when you did. We almost succumbed to the temptation pro-offered by these, these unbelievers. 
I like his his bang, his hair flip. Jesus. Why does that man detest us so? Is it all because we interrupted Laura Farcell's trial? Whatever his reason, he clearly means to oppose us at every turn. You're not wrong. Before we can persuade Lord Drillmont to help us, it seems we must convince Inquisitor Golemane that we are not his enemy. But just how might we go about doing that? We know little and less about the good Inquisitor, despite him being such a prominent figure in Corthus. Perhaps we could learn more by speaking with the people of White Brim Front. Share your findings with Alphino in the square. I'll find him... Uh, I'm sure he can formulate a strategy from there. Okay. Inquisitor Gullamain. Yes, of course I know him. Alas, I have not seen him since the day he came to White Brim Front several moons ago. My memory is somewhat muddled, but I recall that a blizzard nearly buried us in snow that day, and I had an ill fortune of being assigned to the Night's Guard. While the storm front swept, while the stronghold slept, we walked the walls and patrolled the exterior in a darkness black as pitch. My route took me outside the eastern gate at one point, where I caught sight of a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city. Thinking that it was a wayward traveler, I cried out and gave chase, but slipped and took a terrible fall. When I woke, it was days later, in this very bed, where I have lain recuperating from my injuries ever since. I had tried to rescue him, but in the end, Inquisitor Golemane rescued me, carrying my unconscious body to the gates. I owe him my life, madame, and I hope to one day repay his kindness. Hmm. Uh, is it upstairs? I didn't think there was one upstairs. Okay. No, so then it's all the way downstairs. Right? Inquisitor Gulamain, I haven't the foggiest of who you speak, unbeliever. I, we have learned of your deeds at Witch Drop. I will not be party to whatever dastardly, uh, dastardly schemes you've hatched against the Inquisitor. Away with you. Look. I think it's the opposite, man. The Inquisitor has, like, a hard-on for me, and I don't know why. Patrick. What's up, Patrick? I knew a Patrick in high school. He was pretty cool. Under Inquisitor Golemane's watchful gaze, unprecedented numbers of heretics have been unmasked and brought to justice. They say he goes days without sleep. So great is his devotion. Blessed are we to have such a goodly, righteous man in our protect to protect us. Mm, he goes days without sleep? Anyone else think that's kind of, like, weird? Just me... Uh, the Holy See has decreed that the Inquisitors are the uh, Arctober arbiters of Halone's will. They are to be afforded every courtesy and the utmost respect. Hey, okay. say so. Guy seems kind of shady, if you ask me. Sup, Alpha No. Shiver. No wonder you're in tights with giant holes in the side. In case you have yet to notice, my attire is ill-suited to this climate. I'm glad you noticed. I realized too soon after our arrival, but paid it no mind, as I had hoped we might find the Enterprise far faster. Instead, we've wasted far too much time meddling in local affairs. Never mind. Our journey is almost at an end. All that remains is to deal with this irksome Inquisitor. Sid tells me you have been busy making inquiries, yes? Hmm. It should come as no surprise that he is held in high regard. 
Even so, I am beginning to suspect that he has other reasons for hindering us now. Let us more closely review the testimonials you obtained, Quietly. Mayhaps we will provide insight into Inquisitor Golomane's motivations. Sure. Sure. The guy's creepy. What can I say? Something troubles me about the Wounded Knight's account. He claims he fell chasing a figure in the darkness and he saw uh, that he saw outside the eastern gate yes but the main road leads to the southwestern gate since we arrived in white brim front i've seen no travelers arrive by the eastern gate moreover he said he glimpsed a silhouette illuminated by the light the light of the city which would imply that the inquisitor came from north of the eastern gate not south but it cannot be so that way lies naught but a deep chasm assuming sir jewel not is not misremembering the inquisitor's behavior that night makes absolutely no sense at least to me mayhaps retracting his steps will shed light on this mystery it says a little down arrow so yes we go down it is a big chasm. You're right. Ooh. I think we found it. Is this a dragon? Is a dragon look why is it dead oh it's a corpse oh shit you found something didn't you well don't keep me waiting in suspense let's see it hmm Given the contents of this encyclical, uh, I believe you have just made the acquaintance of the real Inquisitor Golem. Newly come to Corthus and murdered on the day of his arrival. Yes, it would have been a simple thing to assume his identity, if ever, or ever if he were to behave oddly, who would dare question the wisdom of a papal appoint appointment? Still, while this is inconvertible proof that the Inquisitor is an imposter, we have yet to discern his true identity. So why has he decided to oppose us? We must proceed quickly, quietly, for he lear uh, before he learns that his deception has been discovered. <laughs> Since Lord Drillmont has already been has been turned against us. I fear that this encycle alone will not serve to convince him of our claims. But what might persuade a man so quick to disregard the endorsements of two high houses? Dead body? The cook did say that the Lord listens to and respects the opinions of his knights. If a certain knight were to prove, uh, provide testimony that supports our claims, yes, mayhaps that is the only way, to, way left to us. Confront Sir Jolent with the evidence you discovered and see if it helps him to recall the truth of that night. As a man of faith, he may find it difficult to cope with such a horrifying revelation. Nevertheless, we must do everything within our power to secure the Enterprise. Plot twist? There's some shit going down in Corthus, guys. Oh, wait, we've got to go down. He's down here. Hi. Oh, you've returned. Is there something else you want to ask? The Inquisitor is an imposter. Don't be preposterous. That could not possibly be true. 
He is a paragon of virtue, a dedicated servant of the Fury. You would have me believe that it is all a lie. If you are so certain that your ludicrous story is true, then go and speak with Sir Prunil. She was at the Eastern Gate that night, and she helped the Inquisitor carry me here, but I will never speak against the man who saved my life. Well, dude, he didn't save your life. Well, he saved your life, but also he didn't save your life. Brunilla, hello. You. I, I don't, I do not believe I know you, madame. Pray move along and trouble me no more. Are you in the habit of handing bloody documents to strangers? Why would you show me such a dreadful thing? I know not of it. Not at all. I need to sneeze, guys. Sorry, I'm back. Hi. What? Do you doubt my words? Away with you. I will suffer your slander no more. Slash doubt. I know, don't you? You know, don't you? Fury, take me. I pray this day would come. I pray this day would come. When Shurdron uh, Jolent gave chase, I followed close behind. He didn't fall. One of those Dravonian am not, uh, abominations lashed out at him, nearly killed him right then and there. I drew my sword and rushed to his side, straining to see the enemy. But what came from the dark was not a beast, but a voice. He, he knew things about me, about my family, secrets I could, uh, secrets I had never told another. He said that if I kept his confidence, sure Jolent and I would be spared. But if I defied him, everyone I loved would suffer unimaginable horrors before they died. When at last I agreed to his terms, the man came forward, his robes marked as an inquisitor, and I knew him to be false. Together we carried Sir Jolent to the infirmary, and on his first night in white brim front, Inquisitor Golemane was heralded as a hero. Soon after came the accusations, countless men and women of good moral standing seized Walt's in possession of draconian rosaries, as I feared he was condemning the innocent to death. I wanted to confess to Lord Drillmont, wanted to put an end to the madness, but then I would remember the Inquisitor's threats, and so I did nothing, until Lord Farcell was accused. Some time ago, I followed the Inquisitor and found that he kept draconian rosaries in a chest hidden southwest of Whitebrim Front. So, I took several from his chest and planted them in shipments bound, uh, bound for Skyfire locks. As I hoped, they were discovered and considered evidence of a conspiracy against House Hailnart, thus exonerating Lord Farcell and casting doubt on the other recent trials. And it is the entire truth that and that is the entire truth, I swear. Alone forgive me for not acting sooner. Okay, so we're searching the south, southwest area of... I don't think I can get to it through this way. No, I have to go the other way. Why do you pers uh, persist in this folly? I will not grant you three access to the stone vigil. Do not make me repeat myself. There, uh, there had better be a very good explanation as to why you carry these rosaries. And where did you find this papel and psych, uh, and psych kill? Fury, take me. The Inquisitor is a heretic? Never before had I heard such an unbelievable tale. But this evidence in your testimony could not, could have no other explanation. I have misjudged you and your friends quietly. And for that, I deeply, deeply apologize. I will permit you to enter the outpost. But first, I must needs beg your assistance. Help me and my knights bring this infernal imposter to justice. You can do that. That dice damned heretic 
has murdered countless innocents and made a mockery of our laws. Hells take him and his Devonian, uh, Dravonian allies. I am told he makes for Snowcloak even now, intending to pass judgment upon yet another poor soul whom he has branded heretic. If we hurry, there may still be time to prevent further tragedy. Lend me your strength quietly. Together, let us put an end to this imposter's heresy once and for all. Let's go. Good to have you with us, miss. Lord Drillmont arrive. But uh, when Lord Drillmont arrives, we are to confront the Inquisitor. If he refuses to go quietly, we will need to use force. Are you prepared for that eventu eventuality? I am ready. Are you ready? I am ready. You needn't tremble so, my child. The righteous shall enjoy everlasting peace in Halone's halls. Only the wicked. But why? Why must I die? By all this holy, I swear. By all that is holy, I swear to you that I never questioned the teachings of Halone. Inquisitor, release the maid and come with us. My Lord Drillmont, what is the meaning of this interruption? You are aware that I am at present conducting an interrogation, are you not? Silence, villain. I see thee, heretic, murderer of Inquisitor Golemane, and countless innocents. You are a traitor to Ishgard, to your own kith and kin. Your sin is beyond measure, beyond redemption. Ugh, grave allegations indeed. But you will find your logic is flawed. How can I betray that which I owe no allegiance? No, Lord Drillmont. My conscience is quite clear, I assure you. I wonder, can you say the same? You whose hands are black with the blood of those whose only sin was to question your nation's crazed crusade. You speak to me of Ishgardian innocence? <laughs> all are complicit in these crimes, for all live their lives by the Archbishop's lies. But I know you will not hear me, deafened by dogma as you are. If you desire retribution, Lord Trillmont, then come. Let us see how an Ishgardian steel fares against Dravonian fang and claw. Oh. Show the heretic no mercy. He must pay for the innocent blood he has spilled. Ignorant swine, soon you will know the futility of your faith. See, heretic, your allies are no match for the might. Uh, for the might of Ishgard. How wrong are you, Ishgardians? I have been blessed with a power far beyond your kin. Oh, shit.
God, it kind of hurts. Can I have healing, please? Nice. Glamours dispelled. Your plans lie in ruin, heretic. Choose your words wisely, for they will be your last. Cough, wheeze. You may not recall the many ish guardians I have sentenced, but the families of the dead will never forget. Blood has been repaid for with blood, and for that I am content. My, my only regret is that you yet live. But your end is nigh, foreigner. The dragons within the stone vigil will render you assured. And when you are dead, white brim front shall fall. Oh, is he talking to, to me? Defiant to the last, leave the body for the crows. His I ill deserves not better. Quietly, I must apologize for involving you in this sordid business. You should never have been asked to intervene in Ishgardian affairs of state. Rest assured. I have not forgotten the matter with which brought you to our midst. It is past time that you were reunited with your airship. But this is not the place to discuss such matters. Pray, visit me in White Brim Fronten and bring your associates. Got it. I also want to put on a jacket. Where have you been, Quietly? Hmm, the false acquitter has been slain, has he? Yes, well, he was a tale always like the end. He, wa he was a tale always like to end in bloodshed. Though you have overcome the latest in a long line of unfortunate uh, impediments, I would ask you not to reveal your victory just yet. We can celebrate once we have secured the Enterprise. Fair enough. All right, guys, um, I'm actually going to wave goodbye for this episode. We are at an hour and 30 minutes um, in my recording, which will probably be like condensed down to like an hour, I'm assuming. Um, but we are in the home stretch as in far uh, as far as ARR goes. We've got probably about 15 to 20 missions left um, or in the final 10 levels of the uh, ARR story, and then we go into the post ARR stuff and eventually Heaven's, Heaven's Ward after that. Um, so that is all going to be on my YouTube channel, so make sure you watch for that if you're interested in watching that. Um, we're also going to be doing all of the class and jobs on here as well. We're playing through all of those. I just posted the Bard one um and uh the archer's up lancer's up rogue is up we're gonna keep going through all of this stuff um, i'm currently leveling up the scholar so yeah all that is happening uh look forward to it um so that's all going up and then on my other youtube channel i'm actually merging two of my youtube channels so that's gonna be something that's going on but um my other youtube channel i will be posting recaps of the stories and stuff like that um so that you can watch the recaps if you don't want to watch through the whole let's play or if you just need like a quick refresher on what happened in the story um in x chapter or so on and so forth so yeah look forward to those check that out as well i'll probably link something below i don't know what uh is possible um and then thank you guys so much for all of the support as well please if you want to support a little bit more like subscribe 
and join the Discord because we have a tiny little community that does does some stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.